Again, a lot of work going on. We got our first two a day today, and uh, again, got a lot accomplished. We worked some situations today, uh, red zone and some short yardage, so it was real physical out there today. Again, lots of progress. We're uh, playing a lot of fellas right now, trying to work through some bumps and bruises that are occurring, but uh, the guys are starting to under understand situations a little bit better. So I'm pleased thus far. Now I want to see how we respond this afternoon or early evening when we practice again. Do we have enough, um, you know, it's not just character, but I mean, you, you got to fight through some things because I tell them all the time, there's all the colleges around are going through the same thing we are right now. They're all working hard. They're all tired and everything. But I told them we'll work through it. And then when it gets a little closer, we'll start tapering back a little bit so that we can really get our legs back under us. But right now it's work time. Some bigger kids out there years past, huh? Yeah, I got a little bit of size out here. More got some competition for positions. Um, you know, so I'm pleased some of the big guys have got to get in shape. You know, but uh, here in South Louisiana, you got to be in tremendous shape because it is unbelievable, the humidity and the heat, you know. So I commend the kids and the coaches have been practicing smart where we haven't had thus far, you know, any catastrophic things happen. We try to work them through. The trainers do a great job of hydrating and getting the guys plenty of water, and we take breaks at the appropriate time. So, so again, we're working through it. Sure, I remember you telling me in the spring, you know, that y'all were going to try to do some things to try to prevent injuries in practice and things of that sort. What have you done? Well, uh, we have not done anything where we take the guy to the ground yet, like in tackling. So we're staying up on everything. Some of our modes are like tag and thud. We just try to change it up. Uh, again, so we can protect because we are still limited on, on the talent level here. But if we could keep them all healthy, I really believe we're progressing to be a, a much improved football team. It's like what Quinn said, just want to have all the bullets in the gun whenever the game's over. Yeah, you're exactly right. And we want to learn to play fast. And, and that's the biggest thing right now. Some of them are a little bit confused with all the schemes. And so they're not, their true athletic ability isn't showing yet. But I think that the, as we begin to not, it, not put in new plays and things like that too much, they're going to be able to regroup and, uh, and just play fast and get better. What are some of the things y'all are going to be working on in the next three weeks trying to get ready for this? Well, thing? right now, uh, we're, again, uh, uh, you know, in the next couple of days, we're putting it together so that we can scrimmage on Saturday. The scrimmage will be pretty basic, both sides of the ball and a little bit with special teams. but. Biggest thing there is, is have some of our young guys see how they're going to respond with people in the stands and also with the coaches clearly off the field. So that's when you really find out where they're at mentally. And then you also see the guys that can work through some things and, and uh, just hopefully just see guys getting better so we have more guys that we can count on, you know, to play. And, um, you know, we're going to hold a few guys out because of injuries. You know, we have some guys coming off of real serious surgeries during the off season. So we'll bring them along, and then we have a few other kids we may hold out. But we'll have enough to, to scrimmage well. But then the next scrimmage on the 18th will be one where we really have to start making them some decisions about who's really in the travel squad and who's not. For an FCS school to go and compete and, or even beat an FBS school, what, what do you have to do well in those games? got to play. I mean, of course, you just said it. we got to play well. We've got to not make mistakes. We can't give them anything extra because they don't need any help. Uh, we've got to keep ourselves in the game by just, you know, just executing. The offense has got to stay out on the field so that the defense doesn't get worn down. And then we've got to make some plays in special teams. We're going to have to have something happen, a, a block punt. You know, we block a punt or a field goal or make a big one, you know, some, a big return. Something's got to come out of there that's really a momentum uh, builder for us, but it, it's it, we going into the game to win the football game. But again, for us to have have it happen, you've got to just keep yourself in a game. And what I'm asking for from our team is just to be in the game in the fourth quarter within striking distance or ahead, you know, so that we can use some strategy. Sure, you got to get off to a fast start, keep that crowd out. Of yep, it. and I talked to them. It's unfortunate just the way it is here. Our program is that. You know, to play these games, the, usually the ones you can get uh, a chance to play, they're your openers. Yeah. And so the thing that we've got to do at Nichols is we got to have our A game the first game because probably we're probably playing the best football team we're going to play all year long will be September 1st in Corvallis, Oregon. Sure. Thank you for the uh, it's definitely good to be getting work. I mean, it's hard just watching, our, watching my teammates 
work hard, sweating and all that, and getting better. Trying to do the same thing, just stay focused and get mental reps. And I'm starting to work in some physical stuff, so I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be back. Okay, what, what was the injury you had? Though? I had uh, just some uh, tendonitis in my knee that trying to save it a little bit. I had to get back doing you know, rehab treatment and stuff. Expecting to be good to go pretty soon? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. Now, uh, I see a lot of guys out here that I didn't see last year, bigger kids. You know, we've got a much stronger team, it looks like. Oh, yeah, we got we got more fighters. We got more fighters. Yeah. Yeah. Right, well, last year we were thin as much as but we got competition, making everybody better. We got athletes on the team, so it's going to be a fun camp for us. You know, one thing I heard Coach Stubbs telling you guys is, you know, go get your training. Go. You guys are not trying to have 20, 30 guys injured against this year. Oh, not at all. That's that's a big thing that, uh, like I said, we were thin last year, so when we started to dig, it hurt. It wasn't too many older guys and us experience, like, people backing us up. So, I mean, staying healthy is a big part of winning. So. What do you see from the offense so far in practice? Uh, offense, offense is definitely getting better. They're making us get better, and by us playing better, we're doing the same thing to them. And we have we have people who learn the scheme and have some experience in the offense. Coach Stubbs trusting and open the playbook up, so it should be fun to see. Okay, so, so tell me, man, why is this year going to be different than last year? I mean, it's just, it has to be different. There's no other choice. One in ten is not acceptable anywhere in this country, college football, high school. It's just nowhere to go up, nowhere to go but up. So, I mean, it has to be different. It just has to be. Better for Oregon State. Yes. I think it's going good. We're working hard and just trying to get better every day. So I think if we worry about that, I think we'll be good. A lot more guys, a lot more big bodies this year than last year. Oh, definitely. I mean, we're excited with the new guys coming in. I think we got a lot of guys that are competing for a job and are going to be able to contribute right away. So, yeah, absolutely. And then it just adds depth, you know. So anytime you have more of that, it's good. Okay, and th th this might just be, you know, me and it might not even be accurate, but it looks like y'all are practicing on offense a little faster than in the years past. Well, we definitely have a faster tempo just because you know it's our third year for a lot of this guy, you know, you know, so everyone knows the stuff better. And uh, you know, when we get out there, we're ready to go, we know the stuff, we don't have to work, we don't do, uh, deal with the little things quite as much, and uh, we're just able to go out and go to practice. It's got to be refreshing to see a lot of guys that were injured last year back on the practice field getting at it with you guys. Can. Oh, yeah, I mean, they worked hard. Um, a lot of guys got injured, and you know Jordan Piper, Bo Aver, you know they worked hard to get back, and you know they are, and they're going to be ready to practice and ready to go for the season. Uh, coach was telling you guys in the huddle, you know, hey, look, you know, go get your training, go get your treatment. Y'all don't want the same things that hampered y'all last year with injuries to be a problem again this year, dude. Well, that, and you got to take care of your body out here. It's hot, you know, you're going to lose a lot of weight just from sweating and everything like that. So you just got to take care of your body, get your muscles ready to go, and. I mean, yeah, you just got to be smart with how you, how you take care of yourself. Sure. Now, same thing like Ags Jordan. Why is this year going to be different for you guys? Man? You know, I just I think we're ready. I think we're ready to go. I think, uh, you know, this is the first time I've really felt like we're a team. I think we're going to be able to handle adversity a lot better than we have. Um, you know, I just think, you know, Banner Brothers really is, I think, what we are. And I think, you know, that's going to carry us through the season. Ready for Oregon State, man. Oh, absolutely. Wonderful. You know, this is probably the, the best start we had, you know, since Coach Stubbs has been here. And that's, that's a great thing because a lot of guys are here over the summer. So most of the things that we're picking up at this point last year, we actually picked those things up in the end of June and July. So we're a bit ahead of where we were in the past, and, and it's looking good for us. You look a little bigger than last time I saw you. Uh, yeah, um, working out, you know, Coach tells me always i got to put on a few pounds to get take on the extra hits at receiver and at quarterback, running the ball and things like that. So, you know, I'm just trying to preserve my body and just trying to make it through the whole season because injuries have been a big bug for us. So I'm just trying to avoid that. Yeah, how, how's that transition been playing a little more receiver? Uh, actually, in my eyes, I look at it as I'm playing receiver and quarterback because when I'm running a route, I'm reading the defense as if a quarterback would be reading the defense. So I know what he's looking for and I know where to go, you know, on my landmarks to get open. And, you know, we have a great chemistry because, like I said, I know what he's looking for. So I'm just being where he needs me to be making a play when I get the ball. Injuries were such a problem last year. And having some of those guys that were out last year back on the field, what, what does that mean to you guys? A stronger team, a stronger team. We took some pivotal injuries last year. A couple key guys got hurt and it, it, it took us back a little bit. You know, Jesse came off an injury, uh, Piper had an injury, you know, but we got those guys back at 100% and we're just a, a better team with all our guys and we got it going into the war with all our bullets. It seems like coach is really stressing, you know, guys getting treatment 
take care of the body. Y'all don't want to have the same thing happen. Uh, exactly. Uh, like I said, injury, the injury bug bit us bad last year. And we're just trying to avoid that. We're working out and taking advantage of having a, a fine treatment facility here. So we're just trying to avoid injuries and have all our bullets at every game. Why is this year going to be different, man? This year is going to be different because we're ahead of where we were last year at this point, and there's nowhere for us to go but up. This is your last go-round. I know you don't want to go out and you don't want to Exactly. Um, yeah, it's my last go-round, and um, I know the guys look at me as a guy that's been here for a while, and I know these guys are going to play hard for me as, if, as well as I'm going to play hard for them. So, you know, I just I'm, I trust in my guys, and I know that they're looking at me as a leader, you know, on the field. So I'm just ready to play for those guys. You seem real excited to be Yeah, I am. I'm very excited.